Hey, what's going on, Scorpios? Butch Tarot here. I'm uh, going to do your remainder of our March read. Uh, it is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And always feel free to comment down below. So, let's get right into it. First, what do we have for Scorpios? What's going on with Scorpios in the next two weeks? What's going on with Scorpios? All right, Scorpios, first thing I see is I see you thinking about somebody. You have somebody on your mind. Um, I feel like there's some new energy around you. Somebody, somebody I feel like you're in your head a lot about this person. You're trying to make a decision when it comes to this person. I feel like you get some red flags, but then on the other hand, you do feel a connection with this person with that four of cups. You think about this person out of love. But you're in your head about this a lot. I feel like you're not sure exactly what this person is about. Um, you're not sure if what you see is what you're getting here. You know, I feel like this person's hot and cold. You know, I feel like this person comes and they go. And I feel like that's the part that worries you. When you're together, it's great. You have feelings for this person. You do want to move forward with this person. But then there's the moments where they leave you out in the cold, you know? Like I said, very hot, on and off, hot and cold here. You know, and I feel like there's some pressure by this person to move quickly. You know, and I, they want to move really quickly. And I feel like that isn't what you want. I don't feel like that's what you should do. Like I said, we have um, the Knight of Swords in reverse, which upright means moving quickly. Re reverse, you know, I feel like you need to take your time here. And I feel like the reason why I'm, you know, I see that you should take your time is because I, I feel like you need to, I feel like soon you're going to start seeing this person for who they really are. You know, things are going to come to light and make things a little bit clear you know I, I I feel like I get a bad vibe from this person and I feel like you do too I got some player energy there you know with the with the knight of swords and or the knight of wands in reverse here that that's that's Sagittarius energy but it's in reverse like I feel like they're playing you um I feel like you you know they're trying to take advantage of your good nature they're trying to take advantage of you you know, they see something they want and they're trying to get it from you. And that's why they want to move quickly. And that's why you get it that hot and cold. And I feel like you've already been picking this up. Because that's why you're, you know, that Virgo. You know, I feel like the more work you put into this, the less you're going to get from it. The more work you're going to put in, eventually you're going to regret it. You know, I don't see this person being genuine. I see this person is trying to make themselves happy, basically. They're trying to get what they want from you, not not concerned about how you feel. Uh, that hot and cold vibe I get from them, like I said, I feel like they can't be consistently... Um, a lot of times when we have people in our lives that are, 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 are trying to play us, 
They can't consistently keep up uh, that mask, that false mask that they wear. You know, they can't consistently keep that up. So it's a matter of they take that step back. Um, you know, they're hot and cold because they can't consistently do that. They have to get away, you know, in their own space. I feel like moving forward with this Scorpio, like I said, you're going to have regrets. You know, you're going to feel like you got what you wanted at first, but then eventually as you start seeing this person for who they really are, um, with that Pisces energy, the moon card, you're going to realize more and more red flags. And you're going to end up losing here. You know, I feel like you need to take that step back. Take the step back. Add up all the facts. And once you do that, you're going to see this person for who they really are. You know, I feel like you already... The only reason you're still even considering this is because you have feelings for them. But know that it doesn't matter how much feelings you have for them if they have none for you. This person is trying to take advantage of you. They see you as a good-natured person, a giving person, and they're going to take advantage of that. You know, I have... The universe is telling me... I've got a lot of, you know, reverse cards here. Not to take a leap of faith here. Not to jump in with both feet. Take your time. Explore this. See what, see what it is for yourself. You know, they're putting on a lot of pressure on you to move fast because... The quicker they get you in a situation, the easier it is to be controlled. You know, you're, like I said, you're gonna, I feel like you're gonna regret this. I feel like you're, you know, moving too fast, taking that leap of faith with this person, you're gonna be, you're gonna regret this. You know, it's all about knowing. I feel like you already have, your intuition's already trying to tell you that this person is not who they say they are. I get a lot of player energy off them, like I said, and you're going to end up losing here. You know, um, it, it doesn't balance out. They see you as somebody very um, good-natured, somebody that they can take advantage of. Like I said, I, we have the, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse as well. Not a lot of good things coming here. And also the sun in reverse. You're not going to be happy with this person. This person doesn't bring to the table what they say they do. And at the end of the day, when you find this out, it's going to make you very unhappy. You know, there's no happiness here. Because once the mask comes off, you know, when we meet new people and they put on a, a mask and they try to fool us, once that mask comes down, they can't put it back on. Because they, they, they've exposed themselves for who they really were. And like I said, I feel like this person is good at saying what you want to hear. Um, you know, you, you want to be on the lookout for people that ask way too many questions. Because they want to know how to get, you know, in your head. Because they feel like once they get in your head... They can move forward and, 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 you know, they have that power over you. But like I said, I feel like your intuition's already been telling you exactly what I'm telling you. So I don't feel like it's as big a surprise, you, you know. Um, the only reason I feel like you're even even still, um, you know, giving this any airtime at all is because of the fact that you have feelings for them. But like at the end of the day, like I said, if, if somebody doesn't have feelings for you and somebody is playing games with you, at the end of the day... It doesn't matter how much, how much you want to be with them. Because if, they, if they're playing games and they don't care about you, that's not going to change. So like I said, I feel like you need to take it slow. You know, take that time. Reflect on information that you're picking up from this person. You know, read their energy. Trust your intuition. Don't allow anyone to you know, wear a fake mask around you. Because at the end of the day, when, the, like I said, when the mask comes off, you'll see who they really are, and the mask can never go back on after that. So that's why they're hot and cold, because they can't consistently be who they act like they are. If they were consistent, they wouldn't be hot and cold. They'd be there con continuously, you know? But 
people that are trying to fool other people, they need to back off and they need to have their space. They need to go back to their little, their little spot to regain, you know, that, that air of mystery. Um, but that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Trust your intuition. Um, you know, I, I absolutely 100% only want what's best for you. Um, I'm not going to tell you what you, what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. And I know I don't like to give bad news, but at the end of the day, I really, you know, I've realized that by telling you the truth, I'm doing you more favor than sugarcoating bullshit. You know, giving you the truth may not help you today, but it will certainly help you tomorrow. So that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care of each other. And stay safe.